What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And continuing on in my Kurt Russell birthday month series, in today's video I'll be taking a look at the 1993 western Tombstone. The Tombstone was released in 1993 and the film was directed by a filmmaker named George P. Cosmatos. I did look up this director and he's also best known for directing First Blood Part 2, which is a pretty entertaining film in its own right. Although there is some a little bit of behind the scenes drama on Tombstone, whether if this director actually did work on the film or not, because there are reports that suggested that Kurt Russell might have co-directed the film and that would have been interesting if that's actually the case but Cosmatos is the credited director on Tombstone and that's the director I'm going with. Tombstone was a financial success in a time when westerns weren't really profitable like they were during the golden age of Hollywood. This did come out a year after Clint Eastwood's Unforgiven which won the Oscar for Best Picture so that might have helped. And this movie is a well-remembered film from a lot of fans. This is the first time I've seen Tombstone and it was a great fit to check this film out during the month where I celebrate Kurt Russell's 70th birthday. So what do I think of this movie? Let's find out together. Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday team up together to lay down the law in a notorious showdown with fruitless outlaws at the OK Corral. And this movie has an epic all-star cast, such as Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, Michael Bean, Powers Booth, Robert Burke, Dana Delaney, Sam Elliott, Stephen Lang, Bill Paxton, Michael Rooker, Billy Zane, and Charlton Heston. Tombstone was a lot of fun. I had a great time watching this film, and the biggest reason why this movie worked for me was the cast one of the most epic stacked cast I've ever seen, especially in the Western genre. It does harken back to some of the classic Westerns which were known for their all-star cast. A good example is How the West Was Won, which had a huge roster ensemble of great classic actors during the golden age of Hollywood. And part of the fun of that movie was seeing the ensemble on the big screen. And Tombstone is kind of like that, but with a smaller scale setting centered around the town of Tombstone, Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, and loosely based on true events that happened at the OK Corral. And the movie is fun simply just to see all these actors. Of course, Kurt Russell does nail the role of Wyatt Earp. He definitely brings a lot of grit to the role that I highly enjoyed. And then the scene stealer, I would say, is Val Kilmer, actually, as Doc Colliday. Somebody who's drunk all the time and lives wild and dangerously, and it's messing with his health. And there's a lot of fun banter and conflict between the two characters. And Val Kilmer does steal the show. And I also do enjoy Sam Elliott in this movie, and Bill Paxton, Michael Bean, Kyle Reese from The Terminator is our antagonist, and he does a good job of hammering in this villainous performance. Charlton Heston has a small part, which was fun to see. There were just so many great performances in this film, and I highly enjoyed seeing all the actors who showed up in this film. The movie does have some great action. There's great cinematography, an epic score. There's a lot of good spectacle in this film. It's something you want in a great Western. I will say, though, what hurts Tombstone for me is it's a little unfocused, especially in the first half of the film. The movie opens where you got Wyatt Earp who wants to retire from being a lawman and he just wants to live a quiet life in this town with his two brothers and make a lot of money and just have fun. And that did get a little boring after a while. We have a little bit of conflict in the opening scenes where we establish our villains, our outlaws, led by Michael Bean and there's some brutal sequences involving them but when you cut it between them and what Wyatt Earp is doing in the first half of the film 
The movie takes a little bit of a while to get going, and there's some weird plot directions that I wasn't really a big fan of. Like, there's this love triangle that happens in the film, which, yeah, I get turned off by a lot of love triangles on screen, and Tombstone is no exception. So this movie is a little unfocused and a little messy in the first half of the film. A turning point happens midway through, which drives Wyatt Earp deeper and deeper into obsession, overtaking these villainous characters out, and that's what really makes the movie even better in the second half of the film. Once the action starts to kick in and we got this and we get to see the ensemble cast in full swing, Tombstone is a lot of fun. I can't say this is high art or anything because there are some ridiculous moments. Sometimes characters overact. One of my favorites is when Kurt Russell gets angry and starts shooting up the place and goes, no, 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 no. Oh, that scene is amazing. But the movie is still a lot of fun. I do enjoy the performances. I enjoy the cast. It is a fun spectacle to watch. And even though there are far better movies in the Western genre, Tombstone is a fun movie to turn on and just to enjoy the spectacle, the cast, and the escapism of it all. So while I can't say this is a personal favorite of mine, it is still an enjoyable film, and I do think it's worth checking out if you hadn't seen it already. So I'm going to give Tombstone a 4 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale it's getting a 71 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Tombstone as part of my series of Kurt Russell birthday reviews where I'll be celebrating his birthday throughout the month of March. Kurt Russell will turn 70 years old on March 17th. I'm excited to review several of his films throughout this month. I've already reviewed Big Trouble in Little China a couple days ago on this channel. I'll leave a link in the description below for my playlist where you can check out that review and some of the birthday months I've done in the previous two months. I've done Nicolas Cage in January and Emily Blunt in February. I'm excited to do more of these birthday reviews all throughout 2021. And if you've seen Tombstone, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!